Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of WP the Podcast. I'm David Blackman. And I'm Tim Streifler. Today, we're going to talk about how to work remotely from anywhere in the world. Man, we live in amazing times technologically because we can work from anywhere in the world. I mean, if your job is dependent upon an internet connection, well, guess what? Uh, you can work from anywhere in the world, and we're going to give you some tips and ideas and best ways to go about doing that. Before I dive off into this, Tim, is there anything you want to add or say on this topic? No, I don't think so. This is definitely your, your thing, your area of expertise. We talked a little bit about this a few episodes back when we were talking about Starlink. Um, but this is just a growing trend right now, being able to work from anywhere in the world and travel and be a nomad and digital nomad and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, this is definitely an important episode. Yeah, I think for me, and, and I'll give you a little bit of history and I'll take a step back to circa 2014 ish at the time I was married and um, my now ex brother-in-law, you know, was retiring from his job. And I asked him a simple question. I said, well, what are you going to do when you retire? And he said, well, Sandy and I are going to buy an RV and we're going to travel the country. And I'm a nomad at heart. I'd love exploring new places. I'm from South Louisiana. So I would spend a lot of time, even on the weekends and stuff, going to smaller towns, just checking things out and traveling. And when he said that, I was like, well, I can work from anywhere. All I need is an internet connection. And my ex-wife, my wife at the time, she worked from home one day a week. So if she worked from home one day a week, in my mind, she could work from home five days a week. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so I, I, I just thought, man, I, sh I should do this. So I started investigating it. And uh, believe it or not, there is, you know, and especially in 2022, it was even less in 2014, 15. But, um, you know, even then there were resources that would help you to, you know, be able to work from anywhere in the world. Now, we're not as free as we are today back then. Back then, you were still somewhat limited. You needed to stay near civilization where there were um, cell towers where you could get data, connect to a hotspot like AT&T or Verizon. And back then, um, you know, those two were the top in the United States where if you went pretty much anywhere in the U.S., you were going to get some coverage from AT&T and Verizon, with the exception of, you know, the middle of the desert in Nevada, um, you know, national parks where they don't allow cell towers and stuff like that. You could pretty much work from anywhere. You could go to a coffee shop. You could do all of these things. And those are definite options. You know, a lot of my knowledge came from Chris and Cherie, which are Technomadia. You can Google Technomadia. Technomadia, that was their internet name. They're, um, they've been, they're some of the OG digital nomads back in the day, RVing and stuff. And they've been traveling full time, living, working remotely from the road, probably for about, I'm going to say at least 15 years or so. And they are the experts. They have RV mobile internet and it's beyond RV. If you work remotely, you go follow these guys. You're going to they are constantly like testing equipment and telling you what the best thing to do is at that time to get. And, and that's what I did. I just subscribed to a few services, followed some people who were knowledgeable about who are already doing it. And then I just replicated it. I started doing it and stuff, but it still wasn't like perfect because I couldn't like go everywhere and work from anywhere. Um, cause I was still kind of tied to civilization somewhat. And I really desired to be out in nature. There's nothing better in my mind than waking up in a remote place with an epic backdrop of mountains and lakes and, or the ocean 
and just epic beauty and pulling your laptop out and working, but you need internet to do that. Well, now, thanks to Mr. Elon Musk and Starlink, you can do that. Uh, they have two options, which is a home version, uh, which allows you to sign up for your internet at home, just like cox or comcast or any of the other you know spectrum high-speed internet services that you can get at home it's just satellite but they also added portability to the starlink service and specifically opened up you know our you know starlink for rvers which means i travel around i don't have to have a home base wherever i turn the, my satellite on when i park the next time it automatically connects to the you know, the satellites in, in the sky and I have connectivity. So now I can go anywhere in the world. I don't care if I'm in the middle of the ocean, if I get a boat and I'm out there cruising and I need to get some work done, guess what? Turn on the old satellite, get some work done. You know, that's, that's pretty incredible to me. And I think yeah. it's just going to continue to move in that direction more and more. I think uh, location independence is, is a real thing. I think human beings as a species we weren't like meant to be like settled down in one spot. I think that's why so much, so many people have wanderlust, you know, if you think back to, you know, before we evolved to where we are today, we were a very nomadic species. We went where, you know, food was and, and we moved with the weather and stuff. And um, they didn't like stay in like the same place all the time and stuff. So um, who knows, maybe we're going back to our, OG roots. <laughs> yeah. And who knows? We may be able to work on Mars if Elon Musk has anything to do about it, do with it. Yeah. You know, he'll have us out there settling, you know, Mars and 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 working from there. So yeah. I mean, it's a wonderful day and age. It really is. I mean, there's some amazing resources out there. Um, we'll put some in the show notes and stuff. I'll make sure that I give it to Machik and make sure that, you know, Technomania and RV mobile internet, just because it has RV in the name, don't think that it's, you know, these are, are experts on connectivity outside of your normal connectivity. So yeah. if you want to use follow Sheree and, and Chris, they're amazing. Tim, I feel like I've been talking forever, dude. Are we good? You have been. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, no, I mean, that's, I don't really have anything to add, um, but it's just amazing that this day and age, what we can do, you know, if you think of the fact that like what the internet really is, is a series of intercontinental underwater cables <laughs> that connect the internet, the servers all around the world, it's it's incredible that we can be in the middle of a forest, the middle of the ocean and connect to the internet via these right. modern yeah. satellite solutions. And so, um, it's come a long way since, you know, the dial up days, let's just put it that way. <laughs> and I think it's going to continue to, I mean, it's just going to continue to evolve and to, you know, I think that the next version, here's a, here's a glimpse into the future is that nobody will work in an office. You probably won't even grocery shop in person at a grocery store. You'll have this VR headset on and it'll be like Tim sitting right next to me in an office environment, but it'll be totally virtual. You know, yeah. um, I'm an extrovert and I like people. So I don't know how I feel about that, but I well, think it's that's still people. That, it's just, it's, you know, it's people, the metaverse. Yeah. Yeah, it's in the metaverse. That's right. So, <laughs> all right. Well, uh, tomorrow we've got another great topic. Best ways to get website traffic in 2022. Till tomorrow. We'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.